Impassion 031 was the study that looked at adding atezolizumab to chemotherapy in the preoperative setting for early triple negative breast cancer. It was primarily stage two and stage three patients. It randomized uh, 333 patients to receive either a Braxane followed by AC with atezolizumab or with placebo. So the atezolizumab or placebo was with both of the different chemotherapy um, or, or regimens, the Braxane, Napaclitaxel, and AC. And the primary endpoint of this study was the pathological complete response rate in both the overall population and then in patients with pd one positive tumors. And the definition of pathological complete response, I'm actually a breast surgical oncologist, so this is uh, near and dear to me. It means that as a surgeon, when I operated on these patients, we did not find any residual invasive disease in the breast or the lymph nodes. And what we found in the intention to treat population, the patients who received placebo had a pathologic complete response rate, meaning again, no residual invasive disease of the breast or the lymph nodes, of 41.1%. And that increased to 57.6% for those receiving atezolizumab. And that's a delta of 16.5%, which had a highly significant statistical value. And I think the enthusiasm for that number is driven by a couple of things. One, we know from other trial data that our patients who achieve a pathologic complete response are going to do better with respect to longer-term outcomes. Of course, we have to be studying this further in patients receiving immunotherapy, but we don't think it's a bad thing to achieve a pathologic complete response. The other thing that was really interesting about this is that it was very similar to what was seen in the Keynote 522 trial with respect to using pembrolizumab in the preoperative setting, a very similar increase in that path CR rate. Okay. The other thing that was similar about those two trials and which distinguishes the use of these immunotherapeutic agents in the preoperative setting from the metastatic setting is that in fact we saw an increase in the path out of complete response for both the pd one positive and the pd one negative patients. So I can go through those numbers with you as well. So for the pd one negative, the pathologic complete response rate with placebo was 34.4%, and an increase to 47.7% with atezolizumab. And then in the pd one positive, with placebo is 49.3%, an increase to 68.8%. So there's an interesting observation there too, right, in that the pd one positives actually started at a higher PCR rate but we can get it even greater by adding atezolizumab. And the pd one negative patients, they didn't start as high a rate of pathological complete response, but we got a nice increase, a nice delta. And so much like in Keynote 522, the conclusion is that the addition of immunotherapy to chemotherapy in the preoperative setting seems to be effective in patients with pd one positive or pd one negative, triple negative breast cancer. And so I think that a lot of us um, are quite encouraged that these two trials, the one evaluating atezolizumab and the one previously reported and published evaluating pembrolizumab, are consistent in those two findings. And I believe, I suspect, most of us anticipate that this will be reviewed by the FDA and will potentially have uh, an indication for giving these drugs to our early stage patients as well.